What's one thing in your life that you've always wanted to do, but you just haven't executed? That, that call you wanted to make, that relationship you wanted to create, that mountain you wanted to climb, that business you wanted to start, that project, that music, whatever it is, I really just struggle with people that have these, these ambitions and dreams, and then they don't go all in. Are you interested or committed to your success? That's a question I've been asking for a long time. And we've all heard the phrase before. People that are interested, they do what it takes when it's convenient. People that are committed, they go all in and they do it every single day until they produce the results that they want. And there is a giant disparity between the results that those women and men achieve. You know it and I know it. Can you think of a time in your life when you went all in? Can you think of a time in your life when, when taking action and being committed and following through was the only path to victory? It was the only thing you can do. And can you also think of a time in your life when someone said, hey, let's go do this or let's make this new commitment and you were like, yeah, okay. You were interested in it. Did you follow through? Did you go all in? I played some poker in my time. Um, maybe you have too. Maybe you've seen the World Series of Poker on television. There's kind of a truth. When you know you have the best hand, you go all in. When you know you've got the best hand and maybe the biggest chip stack, if you will, you go all in because you can literally bully your way into success. And you know what? The same rings true in business. When you've got the right brand, the right identity, the right market, the right opportunities, you know that the product or service that you're delivering is absolutely rocking. You've got to go all in. You can't half ass it. On the flip side, if you've ever played poker, you get a relatively good hand, you still go all in. Because you know if you don't, time and the market will bleed you dry. So sometimes you just gotta take that risk. But my question for you is, what are you gonna go all in on? And where are you at today? Are you looking at your identity and your business and your opportunities and saying, wait a minute, I'm the best at what I do. I'm really good, people like me, I can go out and perform at a high level, why am I being a candy ass, right? Go all in. On the flip side, you might be sitting in a situation, hey, I'm brand new, I'm just getting started, I'm in a panic, or hey, my business has really been rocked by a personal situation, what do I do? My response is, you gotta go all in. If you think the problems you have now are difficult, try them with no revenue. Try them with no income. Listen to me. I have helped people work through cancer, through the loss of a loved one, through all kinds of life and business experiences. And the number one thing I ask them in that moment is, can you go all in? Can you put 100% of you into this to make it work? And I tell you, my friends, when they do, the results are magical, right? Does it stop the tragedy in the moment that's happening? No. Are we avoiding that? Heck no. We're going all in on that all in on business, all in on life, because you know what? You can truly have it all with that mindset. Ask yourself, are you truly committed to your success or are you just interested in this deal?